If you have pain on the front of your shin or on the outside of your lower leg, then you may be suffering from anterior tibialis tendonitis. As such, you will already know it plays a small but crucial role in running and it may even be hampering your ability to train and run pain-free. Well, in today's video, we're gonna save you. We're gonna give you the scientific research on what's going on, why it's happening to you, and give you the best stretches, exercises, and treatment for tibialis anterior tendonitis. Get ready because this video is gonna have everything you need to get you back running as quickly as possible. The anterior tibialis, or more accurately called the tibialis anterior, is a muscle tendon unit that runs down the front of your shin, just on the outside of your shin bone. The tibialis anterior muscle is the meaty part of that unit, and the tibialis anterior tendon is the short, sinewy piece that extends from the bottom of your shin diagonally across your ankle, attaching at the top of your foot next to the peak of your arch. Its main function is to dorsiflex the ankle, which means pulling your foot up towards your knee. Tibialis anterior tendonitis is the most common injury to cause anterior tibialis pain, but a tibialis anterior tear, known as tibialis anterior muscle strain, does occur on occasion. Much like other tendon injuries, it presents a dull aching pain on the long front of the shin or the ankle and on the outside of the leg. Initially, it may only hurt at the beginning of a run and then fade away as you get warmed up and go. However, if the condition worsens, more running will cause more pain and you may experience tibialis anterior pain at night. So what does tibialis anterior actually do? After heel strike, the tibialis anterior contracts eccentrically to slow the transition from heel strike to mid stance. It also acts to stiffen the ankle during mid stance, allowing your foot and ankle to store and return energy like a spring. It also positions your foot to be ready for it at impact while your leg is still in the air. But those first two functions are the most important and the most likely to result in injury. So how do you know if you have a tibialis anterior injury? Now, there are a few other injuries that you need to rule out when you have pain along the front of your shin or the front of your ankle. The first is a simple fix or simple test. Loosen up your shoelaces and make sure you're lacing them correctly. Sometimes carelessly tying your shoes too tightly can cause lace bite, right? which is an aggravation along the front of your ankle that can be mistaken for a true tibialis anterior tendon injury. If you're lucky, your tibialis anterior pain might just be the result of footwear malfunction. The under injury that we must rule out is more serious. It's called external anterior compartment syndrome. If you have persistent muscular pain on the outside of your shin, especially if it is accompanied by numbness, tingling, coldness, or a full feeling, like it's full inside the muscle, then you should see a doctor. Compartment syndrome occurs when the sheath that contains the tibialis anterior muscle itself is too small. During exercise, the blood flow to the muscle increases, the muscle swells up, and the pressure against the sheath. Pressure builds up on the inside of the sheath, which is causing your pain. The good news is that compartment syndrome can be easily diagnosed via compartment pressure test, which involves checking the intramuscular pressure with a needle during exercise. So what's the treatment plan? Assuming you've ruled out the previously mentioned conditions, you can move on to determining how to treat your injury. Since the tibialis anterior has a well-defined and simple role in running, we can devise treatments that follow the same universal rules that apply to all running injuries. Our tool goal should be to reduce the stress on the injured area and make the injured area stronger and more resilient. First up, reducing tibialis anterior stress. Now, this is relatively easy. Since the most demanding task it carries out is decelerating the rate of plantar flexion in the ankle during heel strike, anything you can do to make the heel strike less prominent and slow plantar flexion will help. If you have tibialis anterior tendonitis, you might notice that your foot on the affected side sounds like it's slapping the ground very loudly when you run, especially compared to the other non-injured side. This happens because the muscle and tendon don't want to expose themselves to the stress a slow associated with decelerating or slowing down. Now, two quick ways to battle this are wearing shoes with a lower heel to toe drop and running on a softer surface. Running with a shoe with a lower heel creates less mechanical leverage on the ankle at heel strike and a softer surface spreads out the slap down of your foot over a longer period of time, easing the peak stress on the tibialis anterior. Next, we wanna work on increasing the strength. To increase the strength of the tibialis anterior, you should work to strengthen the muscle and the tendon itself. Fortunately, this is really easy to do without any specialized equipment. Two great exercises are heel walks and toe walks. To perform heel walks, take off your shoes, preferably on carpet, grass, or another soft surface, and walk only on your heels, using your shin muscles to keep your forefoot off the ground. You can start with three to four sets of 10 meters each, and then increase the distance of each set over time as your strength improves. Toe walks are basically the opposite of heel walks. Like heel walks, you take off your shoes, but this time walk only on your toes and try to flex your shin muscles as you do so. 
This exercise works the tendon eccentrically, which is known to promote tendon healing. You can start with three sets of 15 repetitions slow and 15 repetitions fast, building to three sets of 30 repetitions slow and fast over time. Now, other tibialis interior tendonitis treatment plans. If you're strengthening the tibialis interior and reducing stress on it when you run, you should be the main focus of your rehab program. There are a few other things that you can try to help speed up your recovery. Tibialis interior tendonitis taping using kinesiology tape will help reduce stress on the tendon. Use a single strip of kinesiology tape starting from the top of your midfoot and running along the length of the tibialis anterior tendon. Apply full tension for the segment of the tape that crosses the ankle joint. You want to take advantage of the tape's elastic properties to augment the tibialis anterior. Calf sleeves or compression socks are also worth a try. The compression and tactile feedback on the skin might help nudge your shin muscles along the healing process. Some runners find them useful for calf and Achilles tendon injuries, and given that the tibialis anterior is an analog of that muscle tendon unit on the opposite side of the body, it might be worth a shot. Now, is this injury going to require some time off? Realistically, you're probably going to need a few days off from running, even if you catch this injury early in the cycle. The evidence shows that this injury heals relatively quickly, thus leading to relatively few runners seeking medical help for it. Now, in regards to return to running, even though there are no specific guides to return to running following tibialis anterior injury from the scientific literature, we can use protocols we've developed from other tendon injuries. It appears to be safe to run on the tendon during the healing process as long as the pain is only mild and does not get worse every day. Most of the studies show that a pain must be below a 5 out of 10 on a 1 to 10 scale, where 10 is the worst pain and 0 is no pain at all. This is important. Pain must not get worse week to week, and pain must not be persistent the next day. If these conditions are not met, you need to back off your running and take a few more days off before you can build back up your training. As long as you've ruled out the other injuries in the same area, tibialis, anterior tendonitis, or muscle strain doesn't need to keep you on the sidelines for long. Focus on reducing the stress on the tibialis interior by wearing shoes with a lower heel and sticking to softer surfaces when you run. And increase the tendon and muscle strength by doing heel walks and toe, walk, toe raises. Optionally, you can try kinesiology tape and compression wear to help speed up your recovery. If you want to download anything that we've talked about in this video, including the exercises and the treatment plan, then I'm going to include a link in the description for a free download that you can download the treatment plan and everything we talked about in this video. So I really hope looking at the science and understanding the why this is happening to you, as long as, as well as the treatment plan we've given you, helps you recover from your anterior tibialis injury. Thanks for watching and have a great run.